What's going on everyone? We're out here on Lake Texoma for the official practice day for the third stop of Team Trail Outdoors this year. Um, we got till five o'clock if we actually use all that time today. Um, we'll see what we have. We might come off a little early if we've got a decent pattern. Um, Check-in starts at four, runs four to 6.30. So we're gonna just at least fish till then. Uh, right now we're on the south side of Texoma, gonna run some of our better stuff from pre-practice last week. And then we'll probably trailer up to the north end and fish some of our history up there and probably also look at some new water. So gonna be a good day, gonna be a good weekend. Um, if we can get a top 10 in this tournament, we're thinking we'll either be first or second in Angler of the Year going into the last one. Right now we're fourth. So that's the goal. We're just trying to stay in contention to win Angler of the Year um, at the uh, final event on Cedar Creek. That's our main goal for this year. So see what we can do right now. We're in a little pocket looking for some bed fish. The water's a lot murkier than last week. So we'll see how feasible that actually is, but we're gonna throw some top waters and some other stuff too and just try to catch a few. So y'all stay tuned. Let's get after it. I think I like it. guys that is my favorite thing in the world here you got that red mustad feather treble locked up they don't want to let me get on this bite they're gonna be goners if that happens First keeper of the day, guys. Decent little largemouth on the popper. Just throwing a bone-colored KVD splash popper with switch the treble hooks out. One regular black nickel mustad, and then I have a red mustad feather treble on the back, like a bleeding shad pattern. But good one. He's really beat up, dude. Look at him. Nasty. I'm gonna put him back over here because he could have been on a bed. Dude, I got him. That's sick. It's not fighting like a bass. Please don't get a white. Yep. As soon as I hooked on, I was like, this feels fishy. <laughs> Do we even save that footage? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, we're practicing, so. Zoinks. All right, guys. We've been witnessing this fish chasing bait up against this sailboat thingy. Yeah, sailboat. We were hoping it was a bass because we just, in the back of this pocket, we just saw a little, either a largemouth or a spot, a decent one chasing a shad. So we were hoping that's what this was. But. Fortunately, it's not, but decent little striper. Fish in the south end of the lake for probably till about 10, and then we're gonna zoot up to the cactus area as well. <laughs> Is it all muddy? Got him. No. Oh, that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dawson. You see a chunky little spot. We're on a shad spawn deal, I guess. It was funny because he did that seminar like right after the goat won the St. Lawrence River Tournament throwing a spy bait. And he was like, 
Did anyone see Kevin win his 8,000th straight tournament out on the St. Lawrence this past weekend on this? You got one? Yeah. Good one? Molly! Looks like a keeper. shot with the hit worm or the flat worm. you can see that but just caught a second second keeper of the day decent size smally but need bigger for tomorrow for sure because if it wasn't we got a problem with our hands <laughs> First spy bait fish ever. It's like my third cast. That's a spot. That's so cool. It's a decent one. Yeah. Alright, guys. We got that thing good. Where's those pliers? Can you hand me? That was the weirdest bite I've ever felt. Like, I was expecting crankbait bite. No. He's just like. All of a sudden, it was heavy. Oh, keeper, yeah? I'll check him, but... Yeah, you don't know. All right, guys, just caught our third, or I guess fourth bass of the day, probably third keeper, on a spy bait. Like my second or third cast ever with one. Almost 15. So, keeper number three. Still need bigger than that, but at least we're getting bites, and that's two keepers on this stretch. So, working on something. Small keeper. Oh, that was like a five pounder. Well, that didn't take very long. I'm just gonna give an update. Yeah. All right, guys, it's been kind of a grind out here. We just pulled up into one of our favorite pockets. We're just kind of running around fishing some history and then we happened to see this pocket we've never fished it before so we came in here I don't do the back there wasn't anything back there there's this buoy at the front this is fish attractor turn the scope on there's a giant brush pile there and what was that second cast first cast Ian's first cast with a jig hooks like a five or six pounder which is 
a really big large mouth for this lake and you don't catch those a lot i think i've caught like three in my life out here so it's a good sign if we could get one more bite out of it i feel really confident in it but the best thing is there's like nobody else from the entire tournament in this entire arm so if we could find like a good pattern on this i think we could do really well so y'all stay tuned sorry that wasn't on camera all right guys that's the wrap up for practice out here on lake texoma um you know mixed day um i think we calculated with the our best five probably around 14 pounds which isn't bad this lake's fishing really tough right now so 14 pounds is pretty good problem is i don't know if we'll be able to do that tomorrow because we got one big strike that i don't know if we'll be able to replicate um we'll see if we can catch a few three to four pound smallmouth or largemouth whatever down south um today we only caught two pounders down there but if we can catch you know one or two three to fours down there then that can up our bag and then we can go searching for a big one but throwing a drop shot i caught one on a spy bait one on a popper and then ian had that big one on the jig sorry excuse me um but yeah so a lot of different baits jig popper spy bait and a drop shot were our four key ones yeah and uh that's it i mean we'll probably throw a mag drafter around a little bit early tomorrow morning there's a shad spawn going on in the morning it's uh it's lasting a little longer into the day just because we got some cloud cover but right now we're fixing to do all of our tackle for uh, tomorrow eat some food and go to bed we have a storm rolling in so praying that uh if there's hail it doesn't mess up the boat or truck too bad we got it under some trees so it should be okay but gonna be an interesting day it's gonna be a grind um but that's what we like we like the grinder tournaments we like the ones where we got to work for them that's the challenge that's why we love the sport so good day good practice day solid day we found some stuff we learned a lot about lake texoma that we never knew uh we saw a lot of new things that we never knew existed so that's what all you can ask for is that you learn every day and we're gonna see what happens tomorrow so appreciate y'all watching this one stay tuned the tournament video will be coming out uh later this week as our second video of the week and uh we'll see you on the next one thanks here we go at the top of the class on a roll and it's time to run it up, yeah, you know Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor Ay, On the road, here we go, here we go Yeah, we winning by a landslide Never see me coming, I'm a landmine Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command